Johnny Depp picture starts discussion An online discussion has been sparked by a screenshot of Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. In the 2003 movie, Bloom portrayed Will Turner, a blacksmith who teams up with Johnny Depp's Captain Jack Sparrow to save Kara Knightley's Elizabeth Swan from pirates, because they believe she possessed Turner's medallion, which is essential to lifting the swashbuckler's curse, the pirates abducted her. The moment in the film where Sparrow and Turner make do with an upside-down rowboat for a makeshift submarine is one of the most memorable. The camera pans to them inside as they move underwater with the boat hovering over their heads, where they may breathe while skulking on the ocean floor thanks to a pocket of air. User at Satan has posted screen grabs of the scene to X, formerly Twitter. The headline read, Let's not forget the time Captain Jack Sparrow broke the laws of physics. Whether or not such a thing is scientifically viable has been the subject of intense debate in the comments section. Some commenters disagreed with the post, arguing that such an event might occur. No, this is completely possible, albeit heightened for the screenplay. Similar to the idea of a diving bell or submerging a cup upside down in a sink, someone commented. One reader commented, I cow this is breaking physics, but okay, and then went on to say that a boat's displacement of water while submerged creates buoyant force. With a density of roughly 64 pounds per cubic foot, seawater plays a role, although weight alone isn't enough to offset buoyancy. A boat the size of the one in the movie would have a buoyant force of about 3,000 kilograms, or 6,600 pounds. The water pressure causes the air within to compress as Jack and will descend further, reducing the air pocket. Thus, it involves more than simply weights, it also involves balancing buoyancy, and handling compressed air is more difficult at deeper depths. Ironically, this is the one scene in the franchise that doesn't violate the laws of physics, a third individual said. To elaborate on my previous statement, the scene was effectively depicting a diving bell, even if I haven't performed any calculations or experiments on it. To answer your question, that boat would be extraordinarily favorably buoyant due to the amount of water displaced by air in it. It would swiftly lift the two men to the surface without being burdened down, wrote another ex-user. Air could be trapped in an upside-down boat, but it would float to the top unless it was somehow weighted down. Another person said, they'd need some lead boots or something. I noticed that two and commented in the theater, added a second person, questioned their mass below the surface may hold the boat down without effort by pinning the force of trapped air inside. Putting debate aside, we know if this is possible because hosts of Mythbusters, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman, investigated it in a science entertainment TV show. These men are Hollywood special effects veterans with decades of experience, using science to try and disprove urban legends and rumors. The hosts debunked a number of falsehoods in Season 5, Episode 23, which debuted on November November 28, 2009, and featured sequences from the pirate films Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl and other films. In their initial test, they attempted to bring a rowboat down with them by going into a pool with it over their heads, but discovered that their buoyant bodies prevented them from doing so. After adding more than 60 pounds of pirate gear in an attempt to address their buoyancy problem, they gave it another go, but the result remained the same. Subsequently, they increased the boat's weight by 500 pounds, but it again had no effect. Ultimately, they determined that it would have taken more than 2,000 pounds of force to keep the boat below, therefore Turner and Sparrow could never have succeeded. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, which debuted in theaters in 2017, was the last Pirates of the Caribbean movie starring Johnny Depp. He filed a $50 million lawsuit against his ex-wife Amber Heard in 2022 because to an essay she published for the Washington Post in 2018 referring to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. Following Heard's piece, Disney formally canceled Depp from the sixth Pirates of Caribbean film in December 2018. Even though Depp's name was omitted from the essay, his legal team claimed it was fraudulent and that it had ruined his career. Heard filed a $100 million countersuit. Two cameras captured the six-week trial in Fairfax, Virginia, and the proceedings were televised worldwide. In the Depp v. Heard case, the jury decided in favor of her ex-husband, despite the fact that Heard had won a different civil libel action in the United Kingdom in 2020. In addition to $5 million in punitive damages, the actor was granted $10 million in compensatory damages. Heard received $2 million in compensatory damages following a countersuit.